So to begin the Miller reaction between amino acids and glucose, I added uh, 0.1 grams of glucose into each amino acid tube. I have uh, aspartic acid, lysine, glutamic acid, phenylalanine, leucine, proline, and glycine. And right now I'm adding one uh, milliliter into each uh, test tube of uh, water. So I'll be using the vortex to uh, mix each amino acid with glucose. So I, so I just mixed each test tube and initially I don't smell anything. So I just have my hot water bath ready at 100 Celsius and I added boiling chips. I'm going to place each test tube inside for 45 minutes. So we just reached 45 minutes. I'm going to take my samples, test tubes out. Okay, right now I'll let you guys observe the color changes. This, this is the glutamic acid. Now lysine. Phenylalanine. Glycine Proline and Leucine and lastly Aspartic Acid So right now I'm going to smell each test tube and describe the smell to you guys I'll start with lysine. So lysine smells like caramel. And I'm going to do glycine. Glycine also smells like caramel. I will smell phenylalanine. Describe it to you guys. This one smells like dry rose. Now, aspartic acid, it has a fruity smell. Let's see. Lucian smells like burnt caramel. And now proline. Uh, proline smells like a sweet flowery. And lastly, glutamic acid. This one actually smells like nothing. Okay, so right now I'm going to dilute ev uh, each test tube with four, four milliliter of DI water. Except lysine and glycine, I'm going to dilute them uh, with 1000 ml. And right now I'm diluting 4 ml, which will make the total 5 milliliter. Okay, so this is the spectrophotometer. 
uh, first of all we'll set the wavelength to 400 nanometers by using the arrows up and down and this is my sample i put di water in it i'll fa i'll let it face that side you can open it place it inside close it up and i will hit this button because the absorbent for uh, the di water is zero so i can set the blank so right now i have my lysine uh, sample uh, just remember guys that we diluted it with 1000 ml of DI first I will take out my blank and I will add my cuvette with lysine just make sure there are no fingerprints and make sure the same side you're placing it right now should be done every time And this is the reading for lysine. Just a reminder for you guys that glycine and lysine were diluted with 1000 ml of DI. This is the reading. And this is the reading. This is the reading. 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 This concludes this lab.